Deferred revenue can be tricky. Although encompassing the term revenue, deferred revenue is actually a liability. It is reported on the Statement of Financial Position, also known as the balance sheet under the liabilities section. So many people wonder why and get confused over how revenue is reported under liabilities. Think about it like this. Liabilities are reporting anything you owe to other people. Normally, we think of debt because we pay back money to people, but we can also owe people services or goods, and that's deferred revenue. It captures revenue that you cannot yet report as income because you have not rendered the services yet. Instead, that service is still owed to your client and therefore it is a liability. Let's clarify with an example. Let's say your fiscal year follows a calendar year, so that's January to December. In December, you start selling tickets for an event happening in March. So you are collecting revenue for an event occurring in March of next year. Therefore, all the revenue you collect in December needs to be applied to deferred revenue because the event is taking place next year, meaning that is when the service or good will be delivered. So if you sell $500 worth of tickets in December, the 500 is reported on the balance sheet as deferred revenue. Your entry may look something like this. Debit the cash account for 500 and credit the deferred revenue for 500. Then, in the following fiscal year, the amount can be transferred from deferred revenue to current revenue, which moves it from the balance sheet to the income statement. Your entry may look something like this. You would debit the deferred revenue and credit the revenue account. If we're in January, and let's assume something happens and you end up canceling the event, likely you will need to refund the tickets to the customers. Therefore, regardless, as of December 31st, that $500 you receive is money you owe to your customers or you must deliver the service, in this case, the event. Bottom line is, you have an obligation towards your customer. If you found this video helpful in any way, please click the like button and subscribe for my upcoming videos. Please note, this video is meant for information purposes only and is not meant for personal advice and consultation.